excretory system of humans is also called the urinary system. It is formed of one pair of kidneys, a pair of ureters, a urinary bladder and a urethra. Kidneys filter blood to produce urine, and the ureters carry urine from kidneys to urinary bladder. The bladder temporarily stores urine until it is released from body. Urethra is the tube that carries urine from urinary bladder to the outside of body. Kidneys are dark red, bean-shaped organs. Each kidney is 10 cm long, 5 cm wide and 4 cm thick. The longitudinal section of the kidney shows two regions. Renal cortex is the outer part of kidney, and it is dark red in color. Renal medulla is the inner part of kidney, and is pale red in color. Renal medulla consists of several cone-shaped areas called renal pyramids. Renal pyramids project into a funnel-shaped cavity called renal pelvis, which is the base of ureter. The functional unit of the kidneys is called nephrine. There are two parts of a nephrine that is renal corpuscle and renal tubule. The renal corpuscle is not tubular and has two parts that is glomerulus, which is a network of capillaries and Bowman's capsule which is a cup-shaped structure that encloses glomerulus. The renal tubule is the part of nephrine which starts after Bowman's capsule. Its first portion is called the proximal convoluted tubule. Next portion is U-shaped and is called the loop of Henle. The last portion of renal tubule is the distal convoluted tubule. The distal convoluted tubules of many nephrons open in a single collecting duct. When blood enters the kidney via the renal artery, it goes to many arterioles, and then to the glomerulus, the pressure of blood is very high, and so most of the water, salts, glucose and urea of blood, is forced out of glomerular capillaries. This material passes into the Bowman's capsule and is now called glomerular filtrate. The second step is the selective reabsorption. In this step about 99% of the glomerular filtrate is reabsorbed into the blood capillaries surrounding renal tubule. It occurs through osmosis, diffusion and active transport. Some water and most of the glucose is reabsorbed from the proximal convoluted tubule. The descending limb of loop of Henle allows the reabsorption of water, while the ascending limb of loop of Henle allows the reabsorption of salts. The distal convoluted tubule again allows the reabsorption of water into the blood. The third step is the tubular secretion. Different ions, creatinine, urea etc. are secreted from blood into the filtrate and renal tubule. This is done to maintain blood at a normal pH. The filtrate present in renal tubules is known as urine. It moves into collecting ducts towards pelvis. Formation of urine have three main steps. The first step are pressure filtration which occur in glomerulus, where water, glucose, salts and urea, are filter out from blood vessels. The second step are selective reabsorption which occur in proximal convoluted tubule and loop of Henle. In proximal convoluted tubule, glucose and water are reabsorbed into the blood vessels, and in loop of Henle, salts and water, are reabsorbed into blood vessels. The third step are tubular secretion, which occur in distal convoluted tubule where ions, creatine and urea, are secreted from blood vessels to renal tubule. Normal composition of urine are water 95%, urea 9.3 gram per liter, chloride ions 1.87 gram per liter, sodium ions 1.17 gram per liter, potassium ions 0.75 gram per liter, Osmoregulation function of kidney. Osmoregulation is defined as the regulation of the concentration of water and salts in blood. Kidney play an important role in osmoregulation by regulating the water content in blood. When there is excess water in blood, brain detects and pituitary gland releases, less ADH, which causes kidney tubules, are less permeable to water, so less water is reabsorbed. Dilute urine is produced. It brings down the volume of water in blood to normal. When there is shortage of water in blood, brain detects and pituitary gland releases more ADH, which causes kidney tubules, are more permeable to water, so more water is reabsorbed. Small amount of concentrated urine is produced. It increases the volume of water in blood to normal. Disorders of kidney. There are many different kidney disorders. 1. Kidney stones. When urine becomes concentrated, crystals of many salts for example calcium oxalate are formed in it. Such large crystals cannot pass in urine and form hard deposits called kidney stones. Some may travel to ureter or urinary bladder. Causes. 
age, diet, less intake of water, alcohol consumption, treatment. Drinking plenty of water. Surgical treatment. Affected area is opened and stones are removed. Lithotrisphy in which non-electrical shock waves from outside are bombarded on the stones. Waves hit the dense stones and break them. 2. Kidney failure. Kidney failure means a complete or partial failure of kidney to function. Causes. Diabetes mellitus and hypertension are leading cause of kidney failure. Treatment. Dialysis. Kidney transplant. 